It's what? Tuesday the 12th of November 2024. I haven't vlogged for a while just because because I'm menopausal you don't want to do anything. You have to push yourself. And when it comes to talking to a camera about stuff that gets censored I'm just like I've, some people are doing it it's not as important. But I need to say this he has his faults, I'm not saying he's a perfect human being, but thank fuck Trump got in, because <sighs> a lot of people are going, but he's racist, but he's this, but he's that, but he's that, and it's like, he, he really isn't, he, he has his faults, and he has been claimed to do some bad things, which we don't know what's for, um, which is immoral, I suppose, in some sense, but to name me one, one politician that hasn't got something in the closet. Also, name me one corporation CEO that isn't a CUNT in some sense. Because you have to be a bit like ruthless to get that eye up. But it's the lesser of evils, believe it or not. But people are going squeak, just squeak. Because the biggest thing is, oh, but he's friends with Putin. Well, thank fuck for that. I'd rather two people who actually could talk to each other walk into a room to try and create peace than two people who don't like each other. Come on, use a bit of logic. That's why the British Empire have so many manners, because they go in and they go, oh yeah, so, uh, pleased to meet you, sir. Take a seat, because we have manners. Please and thank you go a long way. And people are forgetting that. And it's unfortunate because it's a huge... It's a big way of keeping peace, in a way. Because, you know, if someone's being confrontational, you're like, all right, you got a problem? And you go, yeah, you, you are one. <laughs> Why are you so angry? What, what a sort of spot of, what, what are we angry? Calm down. All right, please, do you want a drink? If you're like that, you, you deflate the situation. Obviously, you can't always do that. But it's, it... But anyway. Most of the population in this country, you know, most normal people, I say normal, I, I can't use that word now, that's another subject, um, are like, oh my god, the world's over. I'm really sensitive about that, I'm like, oh, I, can't, I can't be, I can't be getting too involved in it, so I haven't said too much. I've said one piece and shared why I think it's the lesser of, of, of two evils. <clears throat> as far as is it the woke culture? Now, taking into consideration, I am 51 years old, and in 19, 19, what would this be? 1991, I went into my doctor's surgery and told them I didn't like being a little girl. I got referred to see a psychiatrist at the local hospital, and then got referred to, I think it's Charity and Cross Hospital in London, two years where I saw psychiatrists. So I've got the go ahead for hormones. I'm diagnosed as primary transsexual. I told my mum at the age of 21, they weren't that impressed, but they, they'd support me. Um, I think a conversation might have happened with the doctors, but the doctor back then, they weren't, it wasn't, it was not really heard of. It was, but it wasn't. And they were like, we're not giving you testosterone. We're not injecting that into you every week. And because of the situation where we used to associate, you know, you, you align your doctors, I'd have had to move to a different doctor's surgery and register at a different address and all of that. So it made it difficult for me to do it. I went into a really feminine mode and then sorted myself out and went, but you know what, don't like being a girl. I'm not going to ever change that. If I had a sex change, I'd still look like a woman to some people because people will see it. I'm never going to be accepted by other women as a full man. I'm not going to have lovely kids and actually live like that. So although sexually I prefer to be male um, and physically how I look in the mirror, I can change that without becoming, I don't want to use the word freak, but how other people perceive it. So I decided to just become a lesbian because it's easier and explain to women where I am sexually before I go out with them and why I don't dress how most women dress. You know, I used to be into glam rock, I used to wear eyeliner and makeup and stuff, and I would still wear makeup if I was on stage and certain aspects of it. I've got no reason to wear makeup other than that kind of genre. <coughs> It's not ever been, you know, 
um, I've never been one to style my hair the same way. I wear clothes. I have to make my own clothes. I've always made my own clothes. I've always changed them. I've always been different. I don't want to look like someone from a high street shop. I never have done. I've always been a bit out there. I've always questioned. I've always been the kid that went, um, no, why are you pressing that button? No, but I don't, yeah, I know you're pressing the button and I know what happens, but why are you pressing that button? I'm that kid. I've always been that kid. <clears throat> so, it, you know, digressing back to sex change, as someone who is actually trans, believe it or not, I would never expect anyone else to know that I was male or female or even care. I don't... It, mm -hmm. Obviously, I get why some people want to box, and I get that, and it's just the way society has got. But why, why do I care who I, who you're shagging, who I'm shagging, who I'm with, if I'm with them with a man or a woman, if I act like this, like if I dress like that, if I dress like this? It's other people who give you that insecurity. So now I just don't, you know, the, the world has got more open-minded when it comes to sexual preference, and that's a good thing. But not at any point, like, I, 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 you know, my, I know people who are trans, and I know people who've actually had changes. And the people who've actually had, ch had changes, I address them as her and she. Because they look like girls as well. During transitioning, you don't always look like male or female, or whatever you perceive that to be. Um, sometimes it's hard to say he or she, and if you're friends with someone, you might be a bit sen they might be a bit sensitive to that and you might have that conversation then you just try and address them that i've called transsexuals who are female he and transsexuals who are male she by accident and i've got oh sorry I didn't. and they're all right but it made me feel awkward and i'm like I'm... but fundamentally and this is gonna if this offends anyone i don't mean to offend anyone Fundamentally, there are two sexes. There's male and there's female. And sometimes people come out who've got male and female genitals. And traditionally, back in the day, the doctor and the parents used to decide what sex the kid was more of in order for them to fit into society. Because you can argue a toss, you can keep all this, this stuff and wait for them to go through puberty, but it's the mickey taking from other people is the problem. Because other people are so interested in everyone else's business that that's what's causing a lot of this. You know, people just want to be accepted as they are. Like, why should they have to explain whether they're male or female? Does it make any fucking difference to you unless you're sleeping with them? But if you meet someone you're not sure if they're male or female, you can just say, oh, hello. Oh, what's your name? Oh, my name's Alex. Oh, right, okay. You got any children? Uh, no, da da da. And you know, yeah, unless they tell you, oh, by the way, I'm a bloke, you're going to assume by their physical appearance that they're male or female. You're not going to address them and go, hi, are you male or female? Or is there something you want to be identified as? Or, um, or I don't think they say identified. I can't remember the right words. You know, if you use the wrong words, that's offensive. I've been called transphobic. How the fuck am I transphobic? I am transsexual. <laughs> I was transsexual 30 odd years ago. 33 years ago, something like that, I was transsexual. Before most of the people who identify as transsexual now, especially who are in their 30s, were even fucking born. If it weren't for me going to my psychiatrist and my doctor and going, hi, I have gender issues, they probably would be a bit behind. It doesn't make me phobic of these people, or my kind, or whatever else, but I certainly couldn't, I don't want kids to be taught, taught about transsexuality when they're very young yeah okay tell people there's different people in the world who, who who do different things and you know as you get older you'll you'll get into the category you want to be but you've got to be very delicate how you put it because we all knew what lesbian and gay people were when we was like younger but not really like you know sex wasn't even really told to you properly until you're like 12 or 13 and then little boys start getting hard on so they have a laugh with their mates about oh, did you have one this morning you know that kind of stupid playground talk that used to happen but yeah it's got a bit too far it's gone too far sorry if my hands are dirty but i've been tie dyeing glue never comes out your hands liquid put a load of ice and tie dye there you go there's the glue right thank you
sorry about that, I'm talking dirty. But yeah, um, the other thing, menopause, I'm on that subject. In the last week or so, I haven't actually gone to the gym. I've worked out at home, because, not because I'm anxious about going to the gym, though, it's because I like, can't be asked to get up. I get up and I'm like, Because you're just tired, you just can't be bothered. So what I've done is I've forced myself to work out at home. And the first couple of sets, you don't want to do them. But by the third set, you're in you're in the zone again. So <clears throat> to all those menopausal ladies out there who can't get their fucking ass up because they're anxious, they're this, they're... Well, I'm getting anxious about something I'm not usually anxious about. It's in your head. Get over it. I'm feeling really, really lethargic and I can't afford to move. Well, start moving and you'll start wanting to move. Don't sit there and go... <sighs> and then eat loads of food, drink loads of alcohol, and then go, hey, oh, life's so shit. Don't get there. Don't get there. Kick yourself up the arse. You have to. Some days, stop, by all means, but... Yeah, peace of mind.